The two major criticisms of learning jujitsu online are one, there's a lot of junk out there, and two, it's a bunch of random techniques with not a lot of context. These are very real criticisms that we need a strategy to overcome. Elon Musk has two foundational learning tricks that he has used to develop world-class skills in multiple disciplines. And to quote Elon, he says, One bit of advice, it is important to view knowledge as a bit of a somatic tree. Make sure you understand the fundamental principles, i.e. the trunk, and big branches before you get into the leaves and details or there is nothing for them to hang on to. So rule number one is to make sure you're building a tree of knowledge. And rule Rule number two is you can't remember what you cannot connect. And in this video, we're going to look at how we can use these two rules when we're learning jujitsu online. When we're trying to build our tree, it's important to understand that not all the material we consume is the same. The material that makes up the trunk of the tree is very different than the material that makes up the leaves. It is important that we understand the core material that makes up the trunk of the tree before moving on to the detailed material that makes up the leaves. Unfortunately, learning on YouTube and Instagram often promotes the opposite. We are presented with tons of little sticks in the form of tricks without understanding how they relate back to the trunk. It's understandable though. We have been gathering little sticks all of our lives. In school, we gather just enough sticks so we can get the answers right on the test and then we forget the material right after. This is not learning. This is cramming. And the result is a tree with a toothpick for a trunk ready to snap at any point. Even though it may be a tad slower at the onset, hopefully now you understand the importance of learning core principles and concepts that make up the trunk of the tree. Once you have a strong trunk, you now have the foundation to learn new skills and grow branches. Planting the seed for your trunk to grow usually means finding one or two instructors to guide you along the way. Unfortunately, when we're first starting out, we have what we call unconscious incompetence, which basically means you don't know what you don't know. A lot of times, people just walk into a jiu-jitsu school and that is all they know for the next few years of their jiu-jitsu life. Now, we have podcasts, YouTube videos, online instructionals, many resources people can use to begin to understand what they do not know. You can cast a wide net and absorb many perspectives about a given topic. This stage is often where you're exposed to the rabbit hole that is jujitsu and realize how much there is to learn. This can lead to a deep dive and passion to learn more, which is a super exciting feeling. Again, to quote Elon, he says, if we can do things that advance the knowledge of the world and do things that expand the scope and scale of consciousness, then we are better able to ask the right questions and become more enlightened. When you first start something, you have no idea what to even ask. But now we have so many resources available to us that can help bring to light what we do not know so we can start to ask the right questions. While information is accessible, it can be a bit difficult to navigate. The barrier to entry to post things online is extremely low. That's one of the best things and the worst things about the internet. It gives a nobody like myself the ability to have a voice. However, most of you don't know me personally or my credentials or where I come from, and it's up to you to determine if what I'm saying is worth listening to. There's a lot of garbage online, but there's also a lot of gold. And if 10 people are telling you how to do an armbar, how do you separate the garbage from the gold? It's not possible to consume all the material so we need to choose where to spend our time. With limited time, it's probably best to start by studying those at the top and do what the best people in the world are doing. Now, this does not necessarily mean that they have to have a black belt or that they have a ton of followers on YouTube. Having a black belt just means they've been doing jujitsu for a while and having a lot of followers could just mean they're good at marketing. Think of a black belt like a college degree. Some of the most successful people in the world dropped out of college and went on to contribute so much to humanity. What I tend to look for in an instructor is their ability to break down a skill. If they can identify overarching principles being used and have names for positions that you don't even know had an actual name, then that is probably a good indicator that they understand things on a deep level and can help you build a nice solid foundation for future learning. Once we have picked our online instructors that will be helping us grow our tree, it is important that we stay disciplined and have an objective. Instagram and YouTube will show you a lot of random stuff, and these random techniques are just sticks on the ground that are very tempting to pick up. The idea is, if we gather a lot of sticks, we can build a big fire and show all of our friends how smart we are, when in truth, that fire will burn out, meaning that we'll probably forget all of those techniques shortly after. Having a goal will keep you from getting lost from the sea of information that is available to us online. Our goal is to plant and nourish a tree by starting with core concepts and principles so it will thrive for many years to come. Remember your objective and stay disciplined.
After scrolling through maybe 10 cool techniques, you turn off your Instagram and you think to yourself, what did I just see? I know it was cool, but I don't really remember what it was. We should never learn a piece of information at random. If you want to retain information, it needs to flow back to the trunk of the tree. This is why it's important to start with a solid trunk and then grow branches. Once you have branches, little branches grow off the main branches, then leaves grow, then maybe branches from one tree connect to another, and now we are learning. If you make a connection, and then accomplish something with that new skill, man, the likelihood of you retaining that information goes up tremendously. Say you learn the concept that in order to take someone's back, you need their elbow across your center line. So that's the trunk, right? The principle that holds everything together. And then maybe once you have their back, you grow a little branch when you learn a skill, like using this deep lat grip here to maintain control of the back. And then a leaf grows when you find that when you take this deep lat grip and you flare your elbow, it makes it even harder for your opponent to bring their elbow down towards the mat. And then you say to yourself, man, this grip is awfully similar to a scoop grip I take on someone's leg. And if I flare my elbow in this scenario as well, it makes my grip even stronger. Now you can see we have a tree for the back. And while we're working on growing that tree, we connected it to our guard passing tree and our leg attack tree. And the secret to the success of Elon Musk is to never learn things at random and to be always trying to make connections. To me, one of the best tools available to us is the ability to pause, rewind, and do a deep dive into footage. And that's basically what I do here on this channel. I study the best athletes in the world as well as provide feedback to people that send in their competition footage. Now that I have a bit of a platform, a lot of people ask questions about what they should do from a given position. If you're on the Discord, you see these types of questions being asked quite a bit. And the internet is a great tool with so many resources where you can find answers to pretty much any question you have. However, one thing I'm struggling with when giving feedback is that I don't know what your tree looks like. If you ask me how should I pass a knee shield, I don't entirely know how to answer that because are you good at leg locks? Are you comfortable in this floating position and using it to dive over on a guillotine? Unfortunately, I don't know you and I don't know your game. So it doesn't really make sense for me to give you little branches that will not connect to the trunk of your tree. That is why I tend to give more generic advice or describe the general goal I am trying to achieve and recommend instructionals or more long form content that can go into the explanation of the core principles and build up to the branches and leaves. And I think this is the source of a lot of the frustrations that come from instructors when their students start to learn things online. Because if your student is building a tree based on another instructor's principles, the branches that you're teaching every night in class are not gonna stick with that student. And it's gonna be very frustrating from an instructor's perspective. So I do think it's important to talk to your instructor when you're deciding to learn things online and which content to focus on because there's a good chance your instructor is watching online material themselves and they will most likely be able to recommend material to you which will lead to what I think is the best possible scenario for your development which is when your primary instructor and your online instructors both speak the same language and are working together to facilitate the growth of your tree. We do such a dynamic sport with so many variables. Little sticks will only get us so far. The key to learning online is having a clear objective and staying disciplined to navigate through the sea of information. Step one is to pick a few instructors that you will follow online. Step two is to build the trunk of your tree. Step three, apply and make connections. The internet is a very valuable tool that's still in its early stages of application, especially in jujitsu. And I'm very excited to see what the future has in store for us and to hopefully be a part of it. If you're looking for ways to support the channel, check the links in the description below and we'll see you in the next video.